Hi, uh, my name is Artie. I'm one of the folks that works on Applia, and I'm going to quickly show you around. All right, cool. I'll jump right in. What we're looking at here is the course homepage. Um, from here, you can get a snapshot view of what's going on in your course. Um, you can also click on links over here to get into your book. I'll show you what the book looks like in a little bit. Well, this is what we call Applia Text. Um, I'll talk more about it in a second, um, but first I want to show you the Assignments tab. The Assignments tab uh, is all of your assignments broken up by week. I'll go ahead and open up the second week, and you'll see that uh, normally there's going to be textbook readings that are associated with your assignments. So you can actually, just like you could click on a chapter on the last page to get into the book, you can also click here to get into the book. Again, I'll show you the book in a second. I'm going to go ahead and go into an assignment. So let's say you're working on this assignment and uh, you need a little bit of help. You're not quite sure what the circular flow model is um, or whatever this is asking us about. Um, normally you'd have to open up your physical textbook. Well, um, with Applia Text you don't. You can search the textbook right here if you'd like to. you see that it automatically pre-populates with commonly searched things. Or you can browse your textbook by hitting Read Textbook here. This opens what we call the flipbook. And it's similar to the album view in iTunes, where it shows you every single page of the chapter. And you can scrub through it like this. You can also roll over individual pages to get little, little uh, signals down here of key concepts that are found on this page. So right here I found the circular flow diagram. That's what I need to study. Um, and uh, I'll come back to that. You can also click anywhere in the stack to have the, the book scrubbed to that page. And if you click any one of these open pages, we'll launch the chapter. So I'm going to go back to 2-1D. So this is this is the textbook. Now a couple things I should uh, I should point out to you about the Apple Text. First is that it opens inside of a pop-up so that underneath you can see your homework still. Um, it also contains uh, word for word every single word a uh, bit of text that's in your physical textbook. Uh, it includes a handful of other things that I think are pretty cool. Um, before I get into those things, I just want to point out a couple of things about navigation. So just like um, you could use the flipbook to navigate to different pages while you're inside of the homework, you can do the same thing while you're inside of the book itself. You can also search just like before. You can move linearly through the book by back to next. So this is just like flipping through the book uh, pages in your book. In the flipbook, you'll notice that we have the two bookends of the chapter. The chapter outline and the chapter recap are, are kind of tabbed, so they're easier to get to. I'll explain what the chapter recap is in a little bit, but right now let's go back to the first one, which is the chapter outline. I'm going to click on it to go to it. This chapter outline is really like a mini table of contents for the chapter. Um, and we hope that it combined with the flipbook will make uh, the will help you make mental maps of the chapter much easier. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click, click on a page so I can show you a couple, some cool stuff that we have built into the platform. Um, the first thing is that uh, if I find a key term, you don't have to mess around with a glossary anymore. Instead, you just click on the key term and it shows you the de definition right there uh, on the page. We've also embedded multimedia where it makes sense. And its controls are just the same as like YouTube, so you can skip ahead if you want to, you can pause at any point. If you want to, you can go full screen by clicking this button, you can adjust the volume here, um, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to go to the next page, and you see there, there's a fair amount of multimedia. Um, the next thing I want to show you is, is highlights. To make a highlight, just select the text, like this. And when you release your mouse, you get this little highlight uh, icon. If you click on that, then it creates that text. It now has highlighted that text. So I'm going to just highlight a couple little bits. You see that they get highlighted. Now to remove a highlight, just roll your mouse back over and click the little X to remove the highlight. Favorite, our favorite thing to do with these highlights is to group them all together at the end of the chapter. So I have to open up the flipbook and go to the chapter recap and click to go to it. The chapter recap is where all of your end of chapter material live. Um, so there's going to be summaries, um, questions that you can think about that you might discuss in class, things like that. That's going to be up here in the getting the big picture area. But we also put all of your highlights aggregated from that chapter in one place. So here, here's the two highlights that I made before. 
it tells me which page I made it on. If I click this, I could go back to that page and see my highlights on that page. Or I can click View Highlights in Full Context. And what this does is it just shows me just the paragraphs where I made the highlights. We think this would be really useful if you made multiple highlights in the book. In the chapter, you can print off this uh, View Highlights in Full Context page, or pull it up on your um, smartphone, and just kind of view as you're walking to class. Another one, another couple set of features that are worth pointing out are the key terms, uh, key term flashcards and key term matching. Key term flashcards displays every single key term that's found inside that chapter, and clicking on them is like a flashcard, just shows you the definition. I'm going to go back to the recap and check out the other key term exercise that we have. Um, but this is just a really quick way for you to kind of quiz yourself. I'm going to guess and probably miss most of these, but kind of look, quiz yourself on the key terms that are found inside of this chapter. It just picks five random ones, definitions, and you match the correct proper term. If I hit check, you see that I only got this one right because it turned green. Um, and have a great term. We hope that Aflia helps your studies. Thanks.